Okay, moving on to blessing. Um, another great poem. This one is again very distinct in all of its aspects. Um, you can analyze the title straight away, but uh, obviously we'll come to that maybe when we look at the language. So structure first of all, very short sentences. Um, it's almost building to a moment, etc. So it's kind of like we start a sentence, we stop. We start a sentence, we stop, and then here we just kind of build a rhythm, build a rhythm, etc. So those short sentences at the beginning is just to really set us. Uh, those short sentences, sorry, at the beginning, just really just to set us and make us think about the moment that we're actually in. Because if we actually get our heads around the fact that there never is enough water, and look at the grammar there as well, there is never enough water should be how it's written. But the uh, the grammar here has been chosen to put the word never first to emphasize that this really that's the first thing you think about when it comes to water. So grammatically, conventionally, we would actually say there never there is never enough water. Uh, talking about the item first rather than the excuse me rather than the actual scarcity of it. But here they stress the scarcity of it, so that's actually come first. Now moving on, we've got enjoyment, which actually emphasizes the word. So here we've got the, say for example, silver crashes to the ground and then we stop on ground for a second to really get our heads around the fact that it's all just splishing or splashing all around. Paragraph variation, it's free verse and the free verse reflect in different moments. So basically it's like the person is just watching and reporting on exactly what is happening at that time right there for us. Meaning the simplicity of life, water being so valuable and we actually get that from obviously the second line here and that is just stressing the, uh, it's stressed through that line, sorry. The value of power of nature, I mean, it's the sun that is actually making it so hot and then water is becoming so valuable again so the two things that the people are kind of controlled by is the sun and the water uh, the amount of water around which is something we very much take for granted you know come rain or shine or snow whatever happens we just kind of get on with our day so it's a good reflection on on the nature of life in different societies and different cultures um, also, there's uh, an interesting meaning, of course, about the daily struggle. You know, these people don't have enough water, which is, again, something we take for granted. Um, perhaps only some of your parents may pay attention to it when there's a hose pipe ban in the summer, etc., when they can't wash their cars as much as they want to or water their plants as much as they want to. But that's... Um, one of the few times we'll actually associate with something like that. So that's one of the things you can actually talk about. Um, and obviously the value of, of, of the water at the same time. Um, images, you've got the images of the children playing in the water when it actually comes out. Uh, the idea that they're screaming and this is uh, very pure, it's very innocent. You know, just children, they don't need anything to be entertained apart from some water, which again is probably every human being's right. You've also got the image of the skin cracking right at the beginning. It's cracking like a pod. And again, just to emphasize how dry everything is and how hard everything is and also it gives us an idea of the skin of these people because we probably know straight away that they're probably going to be barefooted etc so it just gives us an idea of this cracked ground and cracked skin and callous skin on the feet uh, we've got the image of the sun shining polishing the skin and that kind of gives us a magical moment and a happy moment to this rather sad and dry desolate opening it's almost like a strange advert where everything's kind of drab and then it just springs into life and that's why this poem works as a wonderful kind of like 10 second video uh, or 20 second video in which you're seeing just this scene played out um, into language then uh, we've got the simile and the metaphors so we've got the simile actually across there and we've got the alliteration in small splash and we've got the kind of the metaphor in the voice of a kindly god and how it's actually all all of those are actually there to make things more vivid for the reader you can say to put it in its head to put it in the reader's head to make it clear to the reader to make the reader emphasize with it more etc etc um, just make sure you use variation when it comes to your essay uh, we've also got the uh, onomatopoeia allowing us to um, imagine it, the word splash and drip, both of them obviously onomatopoeic words, which really gives us, uh, sorry, appeal to our sense of hearing and again make it vivid for us. And the emotive senses, uh, because we've got this whole varied array, you know, we see things here, we hear things here, we touch things here, we're holding different materials here, etc, etc. So there's a whole range of senses that are actually being appealed to, so it's a very sensory poem in that sense. Uh, what the effect on us then is, what we can talk about, maybe actually gets us to think about how lucky we are to have water and how lucky we are to be born where we are born and have we have could also make you think that the world is unfair how come you get to live here with certain things and people get to live over there with certain um, hardships etc etc maybe actually think so it makes us think as well about how people struggle to live you know just that general the idea that just some water flowing somewhere that would be if you can put it in context for us maybe like a cash machine handing out 50s we'd probably all get like that uh, you know come dashing around for all the place if they saw that maybe they wouldn't be the same maybe it's water that actually picks that idea of them now remember again meaning is the most important thing structure image language and effect all kind of support it and they're all kind of tangents and we'll look at essay writing in another tutorial